Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. You? Okay. I'm fine, too. No me dejaba entrar, pero cargó y entró. Me decía que tenía... El asistente tenía otra reunión, me decía. No. Decía que tenía otra reunión. Uh -huh. Sí, yo lo mandé en el grupo, porque se me decía. ¿De verdad? Sí. <risa> Ah, miren que estaba no, 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 estaba haciendo las pruebas. Ah, pues eso tal vez era. Las Porque pruebas sí, respectivas. Me sacaba, me sacaba cada rato. Pero ya estamos aquí. Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. Y estaba haciendo las tareas y oh, en la 12. Y no pude hacer nada porque no me deja hacer nada. O sea, en el sentido de que ponga las borraciones en el pasado negativo, pero ya las puse de todas maneras y, y no me, todas me salen malas. Yo tuve mm. ese problema, pero es que era que tiene que ponerle el pasado simple, el verbo. Ah. De eso, de eso, ya con eso le va a funcionar. Porque pasado al principio simple. yo hice, yo al principio lo hice de varias maneras y estuve ahí haciendo. Hasta que ya después el verbo que tiene, tiene que conjugar el pasado simple. O sea, tiene que estar el verbo el, el simple. Pues. O sea, porque ya está conjugado, pero yo no sé en qué está, pero sí está ya conjugado. Hágalo así y ya lo va a ver que le va a salir. Ok. Caray, eso me interesa. Hey. Good evening. Hello. Eso me interesa. Pasó el mismo problema. Yo ayer me acostaste como las once y media tratando de ah, hacer pues, todo eso. Me va a dar copias. <risa> no, 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 no. <risa> no, 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 no. Uy, trae. Y el pasado de Thirsty, no, de Thirst es el verbo, ¿verdad? 
or PHP. Hay uno que le dice flúe, de, de volar, que viaja. Ajá. O sea, de, póngale el, el verbo cabal, lo que es el verbo. Ok. Son tres oraciones que son así, que tiene que poner el verbo pasado en simple. Sí, porque de las cinco, solo dos me han salido Ajá, bueno. solo dos salen buenas. Y de las que sigue intentando, siempre le van a salir lo mismo, hasta que usted pone el verbo que, que tiene que ser cabal, o sea, el verbo. No está ahí, está conjugado. O sea, hágalo y ya lo va a ver qué le va a salir. Hey, no, hombre, pase la copia de abajo, sí, mire. Le voy a dar mi número, en privado. Hello, I'm here. Your microphone are on. Sus micrófonos están encendidos. ¿Lo dije o lo pensé? Dos cosas. Así, maliciosamente. Ok, seguiré con la tarea entonces. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see what we're going to do today. Let me see how many people do we have now. Let me see. Continúan uniéndose, continúan uniéndose. Good evening. Teacher. Hello, sir. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. How was your day today? Tell me. Very fine, tired, but, but very fine. Was fine? Little tired? A lot of tired. Really? How is the weather there? Very sunny. <laughs> sunny, sunny. Okay. Excellent, excellent. See, it's sunny, excellent. Caluroso, teacher. Hello? Say, caluroso. It is hot. Okay, it's hot here. Yeah, the weather is hot. We also can use the word warm. So in this case, it's hot, very hot. Yes, really, really hot. We need the AC. Necesitamos el AC. No, it's expensive. <laughs> it is expensive. Open the windows and the door. Yes. Or take a nap and do it this way. Ah, okay. <laughs> Like in the past, you know. <laughs> Así como en el, I la used, época. Uh, to, die, to kill the mosquitoes. 
Ah, to feel the mosquitoes. Yes. Kill the mosquitoes. I like that. I like that. To kill the mosquitoes. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. Veamos cuántos tenemos. Okay, 12. We have 12. Okay, Elizabeth is showing us the, the moon. Nelson is there also, Maria Elena, eh, Luis Alfonso, uh, Walter, Omar, Grisel. And let me see who is connecting at this moment. Carlos Javier Crespin is connecting. Sure. Hello, sir. Welcome. Hello. Welcome back. Hasta ahí te puede conectarme, teacher. Sorry. Yeah, I've been waiting for you. Ahí he estado yo esperando, pues. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no problem, no problem, no problem. Teacher, voy a apagar la cámara porque no sirve. Why? <coughs> Why are you going to... No try? sirve, mire. No he encendido la compu todavía. Que acaba de llegar, teacher. No, es que ya sé qué es lo que le hace. I know. My, my computer has something like that. Sí, mi computadora tiene algo así para cuando yo no quiero que me vea. Sí, <ríe> a En serio, tiene, tiene una cosita para cubrir la, la cámara. ¿Cuáles son? Es, ¿Cuál es, es son? una HP. Sony ¿Y la Lenovo no lo tienen? Mm, no he visto realmente. Posiblemente, tal vez sí. Mm. Tengo una Apsus, pero no, no lo tiene. Pero ese es el, el teléfono. Este no. Ahí no, sí no hay trampa. Ah, ok. Sí, a saber qué tiene. Ya saber cómo tiene un vidrio templado a saber si eso se ha arruinado o es la cámara. Sí. Un día lo voy a, ya le voy a quitar el, el vidrio. One day you are going to do that. No, pero es, es que protege la pantalla. <risa> sí, protege mucho. Cuando vaya a comprar otro vidrio se lo voy a quitar. Sí, ahí está. As a nice you buy another one, you can. What is that noise? Que le quite el pedacito de vidrio templado, solo donde va la cámara frontal. Ah, ahí está la clave, ya se la dieron. Ahí está la clave para que pueda ver, la queremos ver. Vaya, hoy sí. <laughs> Ahora sí. Solo para eso me la compro. Ahora sí. ¿Qué dijo que le hiciera el vidrio? Hola, no, que le quite este, un pedacito del vidrio templado que está en lo que es en la, enfrente de la cámara frontal. Mm. Ajá, no sé si lo tiene descubierto o lo tiene tapado con el vidrio templado. Solo ese pedacito le puede quitar para ver si se logra ver bien. A ver si mejora. Cabal. <risa> Ah, okay. no, ya, ya. Son, son cosas serias. Ya vi que son cosas serias. Ya vi que sí, son cosas serias. Nada, nada mejora. Pero no me bueno, digas que si sí, ya se lo quitó. Sí, Richard. No, oh, era un delirio. ¿Eh? ¿Cómo no? Si sí, ahí lo he estado traveseando. No. 
No mejoro. Nada. <coughs> ah, bueno, entonces ya es la cámara, entonces. Okay. Sí, ya es la cámara. Let me see, I got 13, okay. I'm, I, I, I'm sorry, but I can wait more than that time. Ya no puedo esperar mucho más que eso. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. But I can continue waiting, okay? And let, them, let us see the attendance now, please. Los demás que se van agregando ahí mientras van entrando. Porque ahorita no podemos esperar más, you know. So I know with my computer, something has happened here. Let me see what is happening. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it here. Ya vemos 15. Yeah, here we go, here we go now, okay. First of all, I'm going to check up the assistant and later on we are going to remember some, uh, we're in a structure that we started the last class. And then we are going to start with a new topic. That is really interesting. Señores, necesito que avancemos con el midterm. No lo veo, no veo que avancemos. Please, please, do it, do it, do it. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present teacher. Eh, Carlos Alfredo, por teacher. Present. Okay, welcome. Eh, Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Cristian Ernesto. Present. Okay, así me gusta, mira. Eh, Chel. No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Claudio, Claudio Iván. Claudio Iván. No está. Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Edwin. No. Uh, Elmer. No. Ember. 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 No ha llegado. Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Gonzalo. Gonzalo Valle. Ya no apareció Gonzalo. Eh, Luis Alfonso. Present teacher. Lo siento lejos. Luis Manuel Muñoz. También ya no aparece. Elena Guadalupe María. I'm here, teacher. Okay, uh, Nelson. I'm here, teacher. Eso. Eh, Omar. Present teacher, sorry. Okay, Oscar, Oscar. Oscar Arnulfo. Pero no Romero. Okay, no está. Eh, Walter. I'm here, teacher. Mm. Jenny. Jenny. Hello, Jenny. No ha llegado ya ni aún. Ok, Ana Judith ya no se presentó. Ah, Carlos Javier, por ahí lo vi. Pero si no dice present. present. Ah, ok. José Eduardo Guzmán. I hear teacher. Ok. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Welcome. Eh, Carla Marisol. No la veo, Carlita. Bueno. Okay, welcome back to all of you. It's a pleasure to, to be here again. We are going to remember some structure that we started. Somebody wants to tell me what we talked about yesterday. 
Alguien que me diga de qué hablamos el día de ayer, please. Before to... Eh, simple pas, el simple, pas simple, pas os bid. Ok, the simple pass. Ajá, simple pass. Pass negative Ah, uh -huh. ah negative two. Ah, negative two. Ok, 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 ok. Somebody wants to give me an example? Related to your life. Only one example, no more than one. Giselle, tell me Giselle. I didn't eat dinner yesterday. Jesus. Allah, no it's a, it's example, teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yes, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> y con tal no voy a decir no, no se me porque el, el teacher es teacher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Por la clase. Yeah, cause the class. Okay, so. um, I can't on the camera for today because I wait for my boyfriend that is in the East Ilopango. So I'm staying in the Okay, sorry. Okay. No, 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 no. Somebody else, somebody else want to say something about it? For example, you don't work it. You didn't work very hard. You didn't work. Okay. You, you didn't, didn't work. work. Okay, let us start. Let us start. Let me see. I'm going to show you something here. And you are going to talk about it. Let me see, I have a lot of info here. Okay, it's going to be this one. Yes. Okay, I got it here. Let me see. I'm not going to use this, or maybe I'm going to use it. I'm not pretty sure about it. Let me see about this one, please. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> I don't see it, I, I need to show you. Let me close something. Mm -hmm. Mira la pantalla como nueva está, como desde que lo compré le pusieron el video. Like new, like new, it is like new. Screen is like new, okay. Okay, let me see now. I got it here. I got it here. Okay, this is the class number 13, and we are going to talk about simple past yes, no question. And let us start now. Okay, uh, what we are you are going to do is just uh, to change the sentences in, in present to the simple past in both the affirmative and negative way. Okay, if you want to make an, a screenshot now, please, you can do it. Pueden hacer una captura porque lo que vamos a hacer es así, en forma rápida, sin escribir. Vamos a cambiar las oraciones que están en presente, las vamos a convertir en pasado, en afirmativo, pero también en negativo. Así es que, let us do it now, please. I need a volunteer who tell me the number one. I don't see hands up. Ah, oh, Grisel. I, I left in the hospital. It is positive. What about negative? 
I was. Connection problem. Molecular ADBN. Could you repeat again, please? Could you repeat again, please? I was in the hospital. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sorry, dear. I don't hear very well. Continue. Se le está oyendo entrecortado. That is the reason why I ask you to repeat again the negative. Only the negative. I am was not in the hospital. I? I was, I was not in the hospital. I wasn't in the hospital. I wasn't, yes. I, I wasn't in the hospital. Okay, uh, number two, somebody else, please. Okay, I need that. Necesito que hagan la captura porque I need to see your face. Did work at the bank. Can you repeat again, please? She did work at a bank. Mm. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is just to switch into a uh, simple pass, but in positive. Mm. Y la voy a pasar a positiva, pero en pasado simple. How can I do it? Cheating no. Cheating no good at a bank. No. No. Okay, ya hicieron la captura, sí? Yes. All of you? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Much better because I need to see your faces here. Ah, tengo a Omar Hernandez. Okay, tell me, Omar. The second one. Hello, Omar. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Is she, she did not work at bank. Okay, but that is the negative. What about the positive? Yes. She called uh, at bank. I got it. I got it what you are telling me. But I, what I want is just uh, listen the different from present to pass, she worked, she like worked. T at the end, she worked, mm. she worked, she worked, and the negative is in the way that you said, could you repeat it again please, puede repetirlo otra vez por favor, she's worked at a bank, Okay, huh. and the negative? Negative is she did not work, work at bank. Uh, she didn't work, she didn't work at a, at a bank, okay. Okay, thank you. Number three, please, somebody else, let me see. If I hand hands, hands up, no. No tengo hands up. Uh, volunteer, volunteer, volunteers. Where are you? Está pisos que eso eso de pasarlas a pasado simple, positivo y negativo. Come on, you can do it. Me teacher, yes. me. Okay, me. Carlos, let's go out. Number That's three. Fine. Number three. Uh, Para pasarla al past to be, eh, o, o la leo primero en presente. Sí, yes. My father is in Peru. Okay, this is simple present. Now, in simple past, but in affirmative. Eh, my father didn't eh, in Peru. My father didn't in Peru. 
What is, what is the, the simple past of, of, of is? Present. Oh, primero, don't, don't el, primero el past. Me. Yo pensé que el simple past, no, pero es que hay dos simple past. Sí. Ok, ok. La, la, la primera opción sería my father my father uh, was, wasn't was or was not in no. Peru. Ok, ok, hold on. Cuando es afirmativa, no va a llevar el not. Cuando okay. sea negativa, sí va a llevar el not. Sí, por, ah, ok. okay. Primer, Primero okay. positivo y después... Negare. Negare. Yes. Ok, tell me. Ok. My father was in Peru. Ok. Y the other, negare. My father... Y, eh, yes, didn't no. was o, o solo es wasn't was my father uh, wasn't in Peru yes de afirmativa so, so, es que perdón perdón pero me confundí creí que era el simple past pero con el didn't ah, que estaba pidiendo sí pero pero you had to take a look that we can do it with the form of the, the B. Sentence, and, and the sentence is positive. Yes. Okay. En español lo voy a explicar. Ustedes tienen que ver si en la oración existe una forma del B, entonces voy a usar was o were was. en la afirmativa. Pero si no existe ninguna forma del B, entonces voy a usar did o didn't. Did, did, did. En este caso, por ejemplo, dice My father was in Peru. Is, is affirmative. Is. Estoy afirmando. Pero si me dicen uh, haga una negativa, I'm going to say My father wasn't in Peru. Wasn't. Yeah? Ok. Anotemos, anotemos. Ok, next. Next one, please. Mi teacher, Christian. Christian. Number four. Okay. Ready, my, please. My, uh, my number four. Yes. Number four. Number four. My sister is abroad. Okay. Está bien así la pronunciación. Yes. Oh, abroad. Okay. Uh, simple pass. No. In this case, uh, pass has been present simple. Okay. Present simple. Okay. Yes. Now simple pass. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. My sister was abroad. Okay, it's affirmative. It's correct. In negative. Okay, negative. My sister wasn't abroad. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. We are going to give you a, an applause. What's going on with my camera? I don't know. I was, I, I'm having some problem, maybe with the connection, but suddenly my camera turned off. Okay, number five, please. Number five. Let me teacher. She was a uh, right. First of all, I need that you read it in present. Uh, she was uh, no, right. No, read read it in present now. Lea la así como está ahí ah, en present. She is a right. A writer, writer. Writer. She yes. is a writer. Yes. In positive, she was a writer. Yes. In negative, she she's wasn't a writer. Yes. Right. What is the meaning in Spanish? Ella es escritora, una escritora. Okay. Eso, ojo, en el presente una cosa, en el pasado otra, en el afirmativo y en el negativo otra. Be careful about it. Okay, next, please. Let me see, I got three messages. 
O es que está lloviendo, dice. Está lloviendo el agua, dice. In dinner, dice. Ya conecto la yes, puerta. Yes, dice. It's raining. It's raining? Yes, dice. O es que está lloviendo, que sigan los compañeros. It's raining, dice. It's raining. Yes, sir. It's raining? Yes? Yes. Sense to God, but here it's raining by fire, you know? I need to have a, the AC on. Remember that I'm in the East area of El Salvador. It's really hot. Okay, let us continue now, please. Let me see. Number six. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Alguien que no haya participado, por favor, en el número 6. Eh, Elizabeth. Ok. My, my father is a leader. Represente. My father was a leader. Ojo, ojo, ojo. So please, read Ay. in the right way. Is an. Ajá, pero ahí te lo pone was. No yeah, yeah, yeah. Father. But, but, but the article... I need that you pronounce this in the right way. My father is an engineer. Ah, my father, perdón, me puede repetir, se me olvidó. Es un segundito. My father was an engineer. A engineer. No, ah, sino an. An engineer. Yes. My father is was an engineer. Okay, repeat again. Repeat, repeat again, please. No working. Yes, the negative. My father was an engineer. Vamos a dejar planas. An, an <laughs> engineer. <laughs> an engineer. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. Si no van a decir, ah, pues él se equivocó, él escribió el A ah, en vez de AN. No, 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 no. Be careful the it. Okay, next, please. Siguiente, por favor. Se dan cuenta, no participan porque no quieren, miren. Ahí está la oportunidad. Uh, sería my mother cooks delicious my mother did cook delicious y my hold mother on, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on okay in present is my mother cooks delicious yes okay what about in simple past affirmative my mother did cook delicious mm. why you put is What is going to happen there? Cookies. En español, explíqueme. Mi mamá cocina delicioso. Yeah, yeah, but, but the, the, the changes that you are going to do, los cambios que usted va a hacer para pasarlo a pasado simple, es lo que quiero saber. My mother did, ocupando la auxiliar, did cook. No, o tengo que cambiar el, el cook a... El verbo. Yes, you don't need to use any auxiliary now. Ahorita no necesite el auxiliar ahí. ¿Qué es lo que le va a hacer al verbo para hacerlo en pasado? Ponerle ed. Ah, ok, entonces. Ah, you are going to uh, drop the S and you are going to add what you well, said. Okay, in well, affirmative, but what about in uh, negative? In negative, sería don't. No. Antes del verbo, y ponerle siempre el ED. My mother, don't. No, 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 no. No. Because we are talking about simple past. 
Porque estamos hablando de pasado simple. ¿Por qué va a usar ton? Ah, es cierto. My mother not. No, it's something that is missing. Didn't. Did my mother did not cook delicious? Or didn't. Or didn't. My ah, mother yes. didn't cook delicious. Ok, vaya que les quede grabadito en su cabecita que cuando voy a hablar de pasados simples y yo necesito, y es negativa, por ejemplo, ah, yo voy a usar did, y en este caso le voy a agregar la partícula not, y el verbo siempre me va a quedar en presente. Pero eh, se va a denotar que está en pasado por el did. Ok, sigamos, por favor. Perdón, te hicieron una pregunta, ya se me escucho mucho. O sea, si yo voy a usar el did, pero el verbo me queda igual. Yes. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo queda la oración entonces, teacher? My mother. My mother cooked. Si es el, en, el, en el afirmativo, my mother cooked delicious. Y si, negativa, y si es negativa, va a decir my mother didn't cook delicious. Didn't cook okay, now the number eight, please. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. The boys work hard to pass the test. In past, if the boys work hard to pass the test. Negative. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Positive. The boys work hard to pass the test. Okay, word, word. Word. Uh, pass is word. In negative? Uh, the boy didn't work hard to pass the test. Excellent. Okay, number nine. They are happy. Teacher, is D or they? Which one? Uh, number nine. Number nine. Uh -huh. Yeah. Dice D. D H E. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I miss a letter. Day. It's day. 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 It's missing, missing, uh, it's missing the letter Y. Day. Teacher, me. Okay. Uh, they were happy. Ah, ojo con eso. Okay. They were happy. In negative. They weren't happy. Okay, they weren't happy. And the last one? They weren't. And the last one, please. La última. Tell me. Hello. Me, teacher. Tell me. Uh, la oración es sin... Sería, I don't know the answer. Yeah, in eh, El pasado sería, I don't was know the answer. Mm. Y hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. ¿Por qué? ¿Dónde está la forma del día ahí para que usemos eso? Dígame. Sorry. Where is the B form? La forma de pasado. No, pregunto, ¿tenemos una forma del día en la oración? No, está en negativa la oración, teacher. Pues sí, pero pregunto, ¿tengo una forma del B en la oración? ¿Sí o no? No, teacher. Ah, no. entonces no podemos usar was ni podemos usar where. No, porque no hay oh. ninguna forma del B. Pero está el don. Sí, pero el don no tiene nada que ver con was o con where. Ni con el did. Yes. 
with this. Okay, said, I don't, I don't know the answer in presente. Yo no sé la respuesta. What about in, uh, in simple past? I knew the answer. I knew the answer. Yo, the yeah, answer. I, I knew the answer. Yo sabía la respuesta. Ahora en negativo sería? I didn't know I the didn't answer. Know. I didn't know the answer. Okay. Okay. I hope that this review helped us to clarify some ideas. Espero que les haya ayudado un poco a clarificar algunas ideas. Eh, de lo que ya hemos repasado. Okay. Now let us go to exercise number two. I'm going to stop this number two, exercise number two. Let me see where it is. I got it here. Okay, we are going to read uh, Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres describe their experience with two different companies. Mrs. Mendoza. I don't know if you are watching it or not. Let no teacher. See. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. Yes, it is there. Okay. Real Mrs. Mendoza, Mr. Torres describe their experiences with two different companies. Mrs. Mendoza, I have a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it but he didn't say anything. He even shared, shared me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Okay, be careful about this reading. Before to pass to the next one, uh, I would like that you identify all the birds that we have in single pass. Les invito a que me encuentren. No me lo digan, solo cada quien lo va a identificar. Los verbos que tenemos en pasado simple. Just let me know, let me know, please. Ah, somebody, somebody is underlined. <clears throat> Sorry. Kane, <laughs> teacher. Hello? Kane. Yes. What else? Somebody else? Solvent. Me, ah, teacher. Solvent. Gabe. Sold it. Had. Gabe. What else? Gabe. Yeah. But before game, you had two more. Charge. Sold. What else? Charge. Yeah. Next. Forgot. Hmm. It's missing something there. Okay, 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 okay. I know that you know where they are. And some of them are in negative and another are in positive, okay? Okay, let us read the next one, Mr. Torres. Mr. Torres say, I have a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car problem too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then 
I studied the engine and everything was perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I need that you do the same. Okay. Identify, please. Colonel. Uh, Colt. What else? Gav. Which one? Was. Ah, was. Okay. Give. Start. Start. Okay, let us move to the next activity because of the time that we have now. <clears throat> if you want well, in this case, for example, we have a uh, had, we have a call, we have a uh, was, was again, was, gave, uh, uh, gave again, started, and was, that's it. Okay, uh, let us see the question that we have here. <clears throat> okay, let us see uh, exercise number three, please. We have only asked two questions. Does Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? How can be the answer for this question? Did Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with the method of payment? Give me the answer, please. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But in the case of the, the, of the first one, is Mrs. She? Yes. yes. She did. Okay. And the second one, did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No, he didn't. Why are you saying that way? He called to assistance. He, he called he call for assistance. He called a mechanic. El mecánico no era amigo de él. Yes? Okay, 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 okay. And now, uh, before to explain you this, well, I'm going to give you uh, a general idea about how we are going to use simple fast yes, no question. In yes, no question, uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to put the auxiliary at the beginning of the question. In this case, did you call a mechanic to check your car? And the answer is going to be yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Okay. Mm. Did she pay extra money? Yes, she did, or no, she didn't. Did we receive a report? Yes, we did, or no, we didn't. Did they sign the letter? Yes, they did or no, they didn't. Okay. Right here, what you need to do is just to take a look at this question, but carefully. Lo que tienen que hacer es ver la pregunta de una manera cuidadosa. Y si yo, por ejemplo, les digo esta pregunta, uh, switch it into 
affirmative sentence, cámbienme por favor la, la pregunta a una oración afirmativa para en simple past. How you can do it? Fácil. Is easy. Uh, Is easy. Do? Use do? Was she pay extra money? No, no, no. I'm talking about this one. Do you call a mechanic to check your car? But that is in present. What do you call a mechanic to check your no, car? No, no, no. Hold on. In Spanish. No me van ah. a hacer preguntas. Me van a hacer la oración afirmativa en el pasado. Uh, okay. Llamó a un mecánico para... Yeah, but, in English, but in English. You did. You no. did call a mechanic. No. Did he call you called the mechanic. Called a mechanic. No. You called the mechanic to check your car. Esa es la oración con la diferencia que aquí el verbo va a llevar ed. Eso es todo. ¿Ya? Entonces el did, el did no lo voy a usar. ¿Por qué, dicho? Porque lo que estoy haciendo es haciendo una oración afirmativa en el pasado simple. Entonces va a decir, you call a mechanic to share your car. Let me show you the example that we have here. Déjeme mostrarle el ejemplo que está aquí. Mira lo que dice. Que... Ojo, ojo aquí. So I call for assistance. Yo llamé. For assistant. ¿A quién llamó? It is like if I say I call a mechanics. Ahí está la oración afirmativa. Entonces, in this case, it is the same. I called y di a mechanic to check, to check my car. ¿Se comprende? Si, por ejemplo, aquí en esta, yo les digo, ok, de esta pregunta, hágame la oración en pasado, pero que sea afirmativa. ¿Qué es lo que voy a hacer? No tomar en cuenta el did y voy a iniciar desde she. ¿Y quién va a sufrir el cambio? It's going to be the main verb. El que va a sufrir el cambio va a ser el verbo principal. Esa es la razón por la cual el did está en negrilla. Aquí, miren. Ahora sí ya más moroles, como alguien dijo. Ahora sí ya me comprendieron o no. Yes. Yes, teacher. No creo mucho cuando me dicen así como, ok, I'm going to use this material too. O sea, o sea sí, pero digamos en, en dónde podemos encontrar como más oraciones y que podamos hacer como esos ejemplos y que se nos quede más grabado porque ahorita en un ratito me acuerdo pero ya mañana esto me va a olvidar ok ok uh, let me see this remember that the past tense is when we talk about action that occurred in the past and we are going to talk about this well, okay i'm going to reinforce okay okay take a look at this if i'm going to ask question i'm going to use did the subject the verb and the complement for example did you work on saturday es una pregunta trabajaste el sábado but if I ask you, si yo le pido a usted that you switch this question into an affirmative sentence in the past, how you are going to do it? You worked on Saturday. Ah, you worked hard on Saturday. ¿Dónde va a sufrir el cambio? Work. In the verb. En el verbo, excelente. 
el cambio va a ser en el verbo. Que no voy a usar did, voy a comenzar con you y aquí voy a poner la forma del pasado simple. Ahora, si yo les digo, ok, conviértanmela a negativa en el pasado, sería you didn't work. You didn't work on Saturday. Excelente, ahí está. Now, if I had the question, did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. Oh, no, I did. I went fishing. Fui a la pesca. And take a look at this. I got the auxiliary here. Y aquí sí ya quedo, creo que le va a quedar un poco más claro con este cuadrito. Que es lo que quiero antes de pasar a lo siguiente. I got the auxiliary did in order to ask question. The subject, the bear, and the complement that is called rest. Did Max play football? Yes, he did. Or no, he didn't. But if I ask you to switch this question into an affirmative, into an affirmative sentence in the simple past, how you are going to tell me? ¿Cómo me diría? Si yo le digo que la cambia afirmativa en el pasado. Max played football. Ah, Max played, played football. Then, if I ask you to do it in negative, how you are going to do it? Max didn't play football. Excelente. Max didn't play football. The same happened in the next one. Did you watch the film yesterday? Now, switch this into affirmative in the past. Ahora cambiemos esta a afirmativa en el pasado. Diría. You watched watch yesterday. 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 Okay, you watched. You watched the film yesterday. Uh, what about negative? You didn't watch the film yesterday. You didn't watch the film yesterday, okay? Let me see, okay. I'm not, tomorrow we are going to see the part. Okay, let us stop. Okay, question. Welcome, Carla Arbaiza. Glad to see you again. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, question to, uh, to this moment, please. Teacher, eh, in the case of the pregunta, lleva alguna, eh, alguna entonación eh, la pregunta? Yes. In this let, case, me explain, let me explain you, but I need to show you this in order that you can see it. Okay, it is different. I don't know. Let me see. Let me show you this. Okay, the way that I'm going to pronounce is different. And you are right what you are saying. For example, we have fallen and risen intonation. In this case, if we are going to ask a question, did Max play football? Listen. Did you watch the film yesterday? It is different that I say, es diferente que yo diga, Max play football. Porque esa ya es una oración afirmativa en el pasado o que yo diga Max didn't play football o you watched the field yesterday or you didn't watch the field yesterday but when I have a question the intonation is total, totally different did Max watch uh, did Max play football did you watch the film yesterday okay creo que se refería a eso sí That's correct, thanks. Okay, okay. Okie dokie. No question? Let me see the time that I have now. Okay, I need to check up the attendance again. 
en lo que estoy uh, viendo la asistencia. You can be thinking about how you are going to create sentences in positive and negative in question. Okay, uh, Ana Beatriz. Present. Elizabeth. Present. Alfredo. Present. Eh, Antonio. Carlos. Present. Cristian Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, uh, Claudio Iván. Present, teacher. Excelente, señor. Eh, Grisel. Grisel is not there. Okay, Edwin. Elmer. What's happening here? What's going on here? Okay, uh, Ember. Present. Is there. Okay, welcome, sir. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Martinez. Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Luis Alfonso. Luis. Can you hear me? Let me check out my microphone. Where, where is Luis? I don't see Luis. Luis, Luis, Luis. Mr. Martinez, I don't see you. Okay. Luis Manuel Muñoz. Maria Elena Guadalupe. I'm here. Thank you, Nelson. I'm here, teacher. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar. Oscar. Walter. Present, teacher. Jenny. Present. Ana Judith. Carlos Javier. Jose Eduardo. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present. Carla Marisol. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. This is the time that we have now. Okay. So five. Okay, based on this, based on the, what I have explained you, basado en lo que ya les expliqué, in the book, we're going to resolve exercise number five, and you are going to create no questions based on the answer provided. For example, say, yes, I did, I sent the email, okay? How is going to be the question? Somebody tell me, please. Did I send the mail? Did? Did? I. Did I? Send the mail. Did I send the mail? Y el verbo va a cambiar la letra T por la D. Porque por la D. Yes. Turn, turn. Yes. Mm. 
What about the second one? No, they. Wait. Did they check the package? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The second one? Did they check yes. the package? The package, okay. No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Okay, number three, please. Sorry, teacher, la asistencia. Hello? No, como ya pasó un poco de las nueve, no sé si va a tomar asistencia. The assistant? Yes, teacher. I already did. ¿Cierto que lo acabo de hacer? No. Yes, yes sí, teacher. Ahorita lo que... Yes. Yes. Yo creo que el compañero ya durmió. Ah, I believe that. Sí, acabo de pasar la lista. ¿Cuál es el nombre? teacher. ¿Cuál Tuve es que apagar todo aquí, me está lloviendo. No escuché cuando me llamó entonces. Carlos Javier, Carlos Javier. Yes, teacher. Ok, but, but we know that you are there. Don't worry. Ok, number, number, number three. Yes, it did. The car turned on again. Did the car turn on again? Okay. Did the car turn, sin el ED, on again? Okay. Number four. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, did we receive a copy on the receipt? Teacher? Let me try something here. What about here? How is going to be? Did? Tell me. The car. Did the car? Door. Door on again. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Yes. Yeah. Can you see it or not? Just tell Did me. the car tour on again. Tour. Is that right or not? It's all right. It's right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to write right. down. I'm going to write down uh, the whole question because in that way I need to be sure that all of you understand it, please. Mejor quizá les voy a escribir todas las preguntas para que así corrijan y no les quede ninguna duda. Sí, porque viene que no las escuchamos, Ticha. Más por la lluvia. Ok. Por eso es que aquí ah, está la calor, porque ahí está lloviendo. Aquí está haciendo calor también, pero también está lloviendo. Okay, in this case, uh, let me see. Okay. This? okay, let me let me write down the number one. Did I send the mail? Did they send? This could be this way. 
It works in this way. Did you say? Yeah. Did you, know. you send the email? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Number okay. two, did. Number two. Did they check the packer? Did they Pocker. check? Did they check? Okay, is there? How oh, do I this? I need to write this. Did they call to on a guy? And the number three is going to be in the car. Sure. On. Okay. Uh, we don't need the, the word again. Only just in this way. Did the character on. Okay, number four. Somebody wants to tell me the answer? The question. What is the question for number four? In where did the we? Hmm. Did we Ojo con el pronombre. Ojo con el pronombre. Mm. Take a look at the answer. No, we didn't. We never received a copy of that this year. How is going to be the question? Mm. Of course, that we are going to start with you. Did, did you? Did you? Did you? Yes. Did you? Never received. Still, uh... Did you? Receive. You receive a copy. Of the. Receive. And the question is going to be here, okay? And you see it very well, yes. And the last one, number five. Yes, he did, he bought a new tire. Okay, how is going to be this one? Como será la última? Oh. Did he buy a new tire? Did? He, he, did he? Buy, buy a new tire. A new tire. Okay. Ah, yes, then. No tire. Okay, take a look and ask me if you have any questions, please. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Just uh, make an screenshot one. Yes. Solo hacemos una captura para tenerlas y luego las comparamos. Is done? Yes. Okay. No question? Or do you have any question? O tenemos alguna pregunta ahorita, ahorita, por favor. So please ask me. If you have questions, just let me know. En mi teacher en en G4, uh, yo había detallado we y el you entonces. Yes. ¿Por qué? Is el in Spanish. 
por el ejemplo que aparece aquí, teacher, do we receive a report? En el cuadrito. Ajá. Entonces, como decía, we never, no sé si yo lo entendí mal ahí, entonces. Yeah, uh, but in this case, the question, the question is, imagine that uh, your boss arrived to the office and maybe uh, are not only you, uh, llega el jefe y no está solamente usted, sino que está algún otro asistente. Entonces él pregunta, Did you receive? ¿Recibieron ustedes? ¿Ya? Yeah. Un reporte, okay. entonces viene y dice, no, nosotros no recibimos un reporte. ¿Ok? Ok, ok. Excelente. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. No question? Teacher. Okay. Hello? Eh, solo una duda. En el caso del deal, se utiliza para cualquier pronombre. Cuando mm. es el tiempo pasado, okay. It's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, you are going to use it with all of them. Lo va a usar con todos ellos porque ya está en tiempo pasado. No, ahí no hay diferencias como en el, en el español que para él, ella y el, y el it usamos das. En cambio, en el pasado, ahí va a decir yes, she did, no, she didn't, yes, he did, no, he didn't. Se comprende. Sí, que la única diferencia sería de que no tiene que tener el verbo tu vida. Así es. Si no existe verbo tu vida, entonces significa que vamos a usar. Mm -hmm. Ok, let me see okay. if, I, if I have something. Ok, I got something here. Acabo de encontrar algo por acá que me gustaría compartir así rapidito para que afiancemos más el conocimiento. Y, la, y respondemos a la pregunta que usted hizo. Por eso me gusta tener suficiente material ahí. Ya, yeah. take a look. We got the subject and the auxiliary. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And we are going to use did or did not. Para todos ellos vamos a usar el did o el didn't. Más la forma base del verbo. Por ejemplo, dice, I, I didn't study, I didn't work, you didn't come, she, uh, she didn't play, we didn't eat, you didn't go, they didn't uh, leave. En el caso de que fuese esto en negativo, pero si, por ejemplo, yo voy a hacer un ejemplo, valga la redundancia, a, en pasado simple, oígase bien, en pasado simple, pero afirmativo, entonces va a decir, I study. El verbo va a ser, sufrir inflection. Va a cambiar la I por una I y va a agregar ED. Y ahí estamos ya en afirmativo. Pero si yo lo voy a hacer en negativo, entonces voy a decir, I didn't study. ¿Se comprende? O sea que la otra forma de, de usar el did sería con, con una pregunta, en negativo y en pregunta, nada más. Excelente observación. Ahí está. Ahí está. Porque, let me see if I have something here. Ok, 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 ok. I got some example here. Affirmative form. I went to the supermarket. Veamos aquí. Yo fui al supermercado. But if we are going to talk about negative form, si vamos a hablar de forma negativa, va a decir, I didn't go to the supermarket. Porque aquí o sea está. Que, Pichero, sé que para resumirlo sería, el did lo voy a utilizar siempre y cuando no, hay, no se encuentra el verbo to be, sea en... En pasado en negativo o en pregunta. Yes. 
Teacher, otra pregunta. Aquí este verbo eh, go es irregular. Entonces ah. por eso cambia a when. Ahí, ten, ahí a, a ley tenemos que aprendernos esos verbos. En cuando no, es en... regular y cuando es irregular. Sí, ahora ustedes ven la razón por la cual yo les envié la tabla de verbos. Sí. Yo no les dije apréndanselo de memoria, pero es la única forma de saberlos. Y le, y le, I recommend you that you learn in this way. Le recomiendo que se los aprendan de la siguiente manera. But let me show you. Ok, tenemos la tabla and you are going to, I don't know what happened with my camera. No sé por qué se me está apagando la cámara. Ok, en la tabla tenemos tres columnas. ¿De acuerdo? We have three columns. We have the base form. Tenemos la forma base. The simple past and the past participle. Ok. Entonces, you are going to learn in this way. Usted dice B. Esa es la forma base. Y después dice was, where. Ese es el simple past. Y después dice been. Ah, entonces me lo voy a aprender así. Be, was, where, been. Become, become, became. Begin, began, begun. Etcétera, etcétera. Dream, ran, drunk. Yes. Esa es la única forma que existe para aprendérselo. Ojo, eh, la lista de verbos que les envié, ahí tiene la pronunciación. Oscar, are you there? Yes. Teacher. ¿Será que la pueden volver a compartir? Porque no la tengo yo. Ah, Ember. Yes. Igual, dice, ah. no recuerdo cuando la compartió. En el chat de WhatsApp está. Ahí está, excelente. Está en, como imagen y está como PDF. Mm. ¿Do you remember that? ¿Se recuerdan? Sí. Ok, but take a look at the, the, the example number two. You live in New York. You didn't live in New York. Take a look at this. She played football. She didn't play football. ¿Se comprenden esos ejemplos? Teacher, una consulta. Dígame. ¿Será lo mismo? I went to y I did go. Ocupemos el did sin el not y en una forma simple. No, 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 no se puede. Porque ya existe la forma de, del verbo en pasado aquí. I went to. I Is went it? to the supermarket. Ahora, ojo, si ya notaron algo basado en la pregunta que está haciendo él, en la forma afirmativa no vamos a usar did. Solo vamos a usar did en la negativa y en la de pregunta. Alguien ya lo había mencionado. Es lo que le estaba comentando yo, teacher, de que el did se utilizaría solo en forma negativa y en forma de pregunta. Así es. Siempre okay. cuando no tenga, no tenga el verbo to be. Así es, porque si existe el verbo to be, eh, ahí lo que hay que hacer solo es cambiar la forma. Por ejemplo, dice, I was in my house. Entonces, para hacerlo pregunta, ¿cómo lo voy a hacer? Was I in my house? Solo voy a pasarlo al inicio. Ok, take a look at this. I did not want to learn English. I didn't want to learn English. You didn't listen to music yesterday. He did not play football in Mexico. We did not live in a flat two years ago. Ojo con esta palabra flat, si no la comprenden, esto es apartamento, pero eh, en inglés británico. She didn't use the correct word in this exercise. Ella no usó la palabra correcta en este ejercicio. And the last one, they did not, they didn't like from. 
a ellos no les gustó Roma. Question? Let me see the time that I have. Okay. No question? Okay, now is your turn. Ahora es su turno. Ahí viene lo serio. You are going to work in, let me see. Okay, everyone is going to write down three yes, no question. Cada uno va a escribir tres preguntas. Tomando en cuenta a la estructura que ya vimos. ¿Sí? You can use you can use uh, was or you can use did. ¿Cómo así? Les voy explicando más fácil. Lo que van a crear son tres preguntas para hacer un, como tipo de encuesta a, a un compañero suyo. ¿Sí? Si digo estas, ya no las van a usar. No vayan a usar los mismos ejemplos que voy a decir. No se los digo desde ya. Sí. For example, I can say, Did you watch the soccer match for the selecta? Y ahí se mi primer pregunta. Did you watch the soccer match of the selecta? Your answer is going to be, if I ask to Oscar Hernandez, where is it? Yes, I'm afraid you. Oh, hello, hello, I don't see you. My bueno, teacher. Se... Perdió conexión. If I ask to Carlos, yeah, did, you watch, did you watch the soccer match of the Selecta? Yes, I did. Ah, ok, ahí está. Entonces, yo como estoy haciendo, como estoy haciendo una encuesta, entonces yo marco y digo, ah, positive. Another. Otra pregunta, si yo quiero relacionar todo con el fútbol. Did you enjoy the soccer match? Did you enjoy the soccer match? Disfrutó el partido? Yes? No? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, somebody could say, no, I didn't because I, 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 I wasn't agreed with the with the referee, you know, porque yo no estaba de acuerdo con el referee, el hondureño, you know, and you start talking about that, okay? And the last question, because I'm, I need to ask you three questions. Yo necesito tres preguntas. Y ahí hice dos, referente al fútbol, okay? Puedo, si yo quiero usar did, puedo decirle, okay, did you watch it in your home or in a different place? Did you watch in your home or in a different place? The answer is no short. That is, it's not going to be just no question, right? En ese caso, la respuesta de esa pregunta no es tanto que decir si sí, lo vi o no, no lo vi. Yeah. But, but, but listen, listen. Did you watch it in your home? Si lo dejo hasta ahí, sí. You can answer yes, I did or no, I did it. Okay. Sure. I can answer yes, I did in my home. No, solamente yes, I did. Okay. En ese caso solo he usado did, pero yo también puedo usar where o was. ¿Sí? Teacher. Hello. Eh, sobre eso que le quería consultar. ¿Cómo 
cómo o, o bajo qué base es que tengo que usar WER o WAS para una pregunta. Para Tiene una... que... Tendría pues, que responderme con cómo. La respuesta ya le digo. Por ejemplo, viene usted y le dice... Um, Were you in your home uh, last night? ¿Estuvo usted en su casa la noche anterior? Yes, I. No. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Vale, se la voy a poner más fácil. En español yo tengo una oración y digo, uh, Today I am happy. Entonces luego hacemos la oración en pasado y decimos, Yesterday I was happy. Ahora hagamos el cambio para hacer la pregunta. ¿Cómo sería? Si es en presente, diría, are you happy? Solo cambio, mire. Are you happy? Ahora, si fuese en pasado simple, ¿cómo sería? Were you happy? Ya. Yeah. ¿Estuvo usted feliz? Eh, para la respuesta. Yes, I. Y voy a usar la forma del be. Sería, yes, I am. No, porque estamos hablando de pasado. Si vamos a hablar en pasado, no va a ser así. Si es en presente, sí, pero si fuese en pasado. Entonces sí. sería, sería, yes, I were. Yes, I. I were. I was. I was. Ese, ese sería el pasado de, del am. Sí. Ah, no se me la perdí, Ticha. Ajá, uh -huh. I see, I see, por eso es. Ok, let us do it now, because uh, ya el tiempo como que avanzó. Ok, you are going to create three questions individually. Usted, usted va a crear tres preguntas en forma individual, and then, as soon as you have it, we are going to get in pairs, and you are going to ask the question. Ok, let us work now. Trabajemos ahorita, por favor. Creamos tres preguntas para hacer una encuesta a nuestro compañero usando did o una forma del bid. But in a hurry, please. In a hurry, in a hurry, in a hurry.
Okay, so now she finished, let me know, please. Finish teacher. Okay. Okay, Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Yes, I am. Could you read uh, your question, please? Only one. Uh, the first, did you like dance in the party? Repeat again, please. Did you like dance in the party? Did you? Did you like that dancing in the party? What about the second one? The second. Did your boy in offer?
Ok, uh, please take a look at the structure. Tómenle una miradita a la estructura de, de lo que aparece en el... ¿vale? Para ver si vamos bien y así avanzamos un poco. For example, I could say, I can, I, I could ask you, did you finish, did you finish your homework? You need to be sure. Did you like the beach? Did, did you like the beach? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Did you watch a movie after you? Did you watch? To a movie after you? Did you watch a movie? Did you watch a movie? Did you watch a movie? Prepare to prepare, prepare, prepare for dinner. Prepare to prepare for dinner. Repeat again. What did you prepare? Prepare, no sé cómo se dice aquí, prepare. Ah, uh, what did you prepare? Prepare for dinner. For dinner, okay. La pregunta está bien, la pregunta está bien. But the problem is that right now, uh, Ahorita todavía no estamos viendo no, hacer preguntas. Entonces, solo con... lo hago con... Solo con sí. Sí, okay. para que no nos vayamos confundiendo. Porque what okay. is going to be tomorrow, WH, where a question is going to be okay. for tomorrow. Para que no se me vayan ahí. Este, los, miren, los he llevado conforme al manual, despacio, en orden. Al final de la semana en el review, quiero que todo quede bien clarito. Okay, let us go, let me see. Okay, I'm going to create the, the breakout room and you are going to ask each other the question. Y ahí se van a ir ayudando unos con otros y le va a decir, compañero, esa pregunta no es así, está redactada de esta forma y debe ser de esta. Okay, aprendiendo entre iguales, that is the name. ¿Cuántos están con dos dispositivos? Me lo dicen ahorita, por favor. Ahorita voy a apagar uno. Bueno. Solo me dicen cuántos están con dos. Sí, easy. Nelson, do you have only one or two? Eh, con dos, teacher. Ya, yeah, okay. Somebody else? Estoy con dos dispositivos, teacher. Okay, Walter, do you have one or two? One, teacher. Only one. Okay, okay, let, let us do it now, please. Remember that what you are going to do is just ask the three questions to your partner, and then as soon as you finish, he is going to ask you the three questions. Tan pronto usted termine de hacer las tres preguntas, él o ella le hará a usted las tres preguntas. And you are going to answer in the right way. Okay. Room one is Christian and Nelson. Two is Claudio and Nelson again. No, 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 no. Bueno, aquí vamos a enviar a Nelson para el uno donde el mismo está. Para que no nos genere. Con yo mismo voy a estar. Sí, pero va a estar Christian con usted. Ok. Los, los dos Nelson van a estar ahí. Ya le asigno a Claudio a alguien más. Ok, veamos. Carla, Oscar, Omar en Walter, Ana Beatriz en Juan Carlos, Carlos Alfredo en Carlos Javier, Ember en José Eduardo, eh, Blanca en Jenny, Carlos Escobar en María Elena. Somebody is missing here. No sé quién es que me está faltando aquí. Está faltando alguien. 
si ustedes son 18, eran 17 con el, el dispositivo que tiene eh, Claudio, Claudio, Claudio. Ok, Claudio, you can work in, let me see, I'm going to send you to room number three. Va a ir para el número tres y ahí van a trabajar los tres. Ok, let us do it now, please. Try to participate on it. Let us do it now, please. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oscar, Oscar, Carla Marisol lo está esperando, Oscar. Carla is waiting for you, Oscar. And Claudio Ivan Mendez. Jesus, let me see what happened here. Oscar is alone. And Claudio too. I'm going to send your room three. Here we go. Claudio, Claudio, go to room three, please. Claudio. Claudio. Me quedé solo. I don't tell you. The microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm having a problem. Okay, I thank you, Claudio, but él no se unió entonces. Okay, no problem. But if you have the question, just ask me the question. Yeah, no problem. And I'm, and I'm going to answer did you arrive late at your work today? Did you? Arrive late. Ah, uh, did you arrive late? Arrive late at your work today? No, I didn't. Did you see, did you sign in your job? Mm, no, I didn't. What I had to do is just to put my, my, my fingertip Finger. in a, in a watch. It's actuality. Did you send email in your work? Did you? Send email in your work. Cuando decimos did you, no es necesario decir yesterday. No, no necessary. Okay. Yeah, if you say, did you send email in your job? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. I had to send a lot of email. Okay, sí. Yo pude estar en toda la clase una emergencia me tuve que hacer master plumber ah ok, no problem ok, okay let us close and we are going to talk with the rest of the group ok, thank you okay. Good, good job, good job teacher, falta tiempo teacher hey teacher, no me dejo hacer las preguntas <laughs> 
your microphone in in mood, teacher. I'm having a problem. <laughs> I don't know why. I was talking with, uh, I don't see Oscar. Where is it? Where is Oscar? Oscar, Oscar. Uh, I was talking with Oscar and happened the same. I don't know why. Suddenly my computer is muting my microphone. Okay, I don't see Luis Martinez. No, no sé qué pasó con Don Luis Martinez. I don't see also, let me see, somebody else is missing here. And no faltan, Grisel. I don't see Grisel. I don't see Elizabeth. Carla Arbaiza también. Yeah, it is it still raining in your areas or not? ¿Aún sigue la lluvia o no sigue? Yes, a lot. Ah, okay, for that reason, maybe. In Sonsonate, yes. Okay, Sonsonate. La tierra del cojo. Solo, solo nosotros estamos fregados, Batiche. Hola. Cocolán. Solo nosotros estamos fregados, que no llueve, oh. solo hay calor. Yes. Estamos ahí pagando karma. Okay, do you need more time to do this activity or not? No? Uh, me faltó tiempo. Faltó tiempo, teacher. Mm -hmm. Do you need more time to do it? Two minutes? Yes, One. yes, doctor. Two minutes? Yes. yes. Okay. Here we go. Carlos, Carlos, somebody's waiting, waiting. I'm Carlos Alfredo, they are tocayos. Carlos Javier, can you ask your question to Carlos Alfredo or vice versa? Hello. 